Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi, and today I wanted to do a review for you on Rimmel's newest foundation offering. It's their Wake Me Up foundation. You can't miss it in the store at the Rimmel display. It's a big bright orange cap. What they say about this foundation is it's an anti-fatigue effect and radiant glow. It is an SPF 15 product and it's available in five shades in Australia. I use the shade 103 in True Ivory, which happens to be the shade that they have on Kate Moss in the commercials. Uh, I would always apply foundation over a primer and under a powder. I always set my foundation with a powder. That's worth noting as well. If you don't, then you may get a different wear than I have. It does say on the back that it's their first foundation that visibly reawakens and illuminates skin with a radiant glow and a flawless natural looking finish. Instant anti-fatigue effect with peptides and a vitamin moisturizing complex. Some bloggers have likened this to a NARS sheer glow. I would say that that's not far off the mark if you are looking for a less expensive NARS sheer glow. This is definitely one worth giving a go. I do go on in this upcoming video to show you how it goes on, what sort of coverage it has, and then how it wears. This is actually me at the end of the day, eight hours after application, one to two hours after a repowder. So keep on watching if you wanna see me applying this product and letting you know a little bit more about it. Okay, so I have first applied all of my skincare for the morning and then the primer that I want to use today is from Revlon. It's their new Photo Ready Color Correcting Primer and this is the 002 Color Correcting. It is quite mattifying. This is a silicone based primer, one that sort of has a very sort of matte finish, very smoothing of the pores and fine lines. So the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation here, it does contain, uh, as per most foundations, 30 mils or one fluid ounce of product, and it comes with a nice pump. You can probably cover enough of your face with just one pump of this foundation. I'll show you how much that is. So that's one pump there if you can get a feel for how much that is. Okay, so today I'm using a regular traditional foundation paddle type brush to apply this to my face. I'm just going to start using downward strokes here. You can see that this color is a pretty good color match for me. Okay, so immediately after application with a foundation brush, you can see that during the application, I did have to work it quite a bit to get the you know, streaks out. That also has something to do with the application method, obviously, with the paddle brush. And what I find with this foundation is that when you initially put it on, it actually doesn't sort of come full force with that glowy effect. So a lot of foundations will go on sort of quite glowy and dewy, and then it will sort of sink into the skin and mat down a little bit. This foundation I find sort of works the other way. When you first put it on, it's not matte, but it's, um, you know, probably closer to a satin finish. And then the longer that it stays on, it actually dews up. Another thing to mention is that a lot of reviews that I've read online talk about glitters in this foundation. I do have it on my hand here, right down the center there. I will say that I see absolutely zero, definitely no trace of glitter at all in this foundation under any light so I'm not sure if it's a different formulation in the Australian market or not but absolutely no glitter so the coverage is definitely medium now Rimmel states that it's medium to full coverage I'm gonna stick with medium and you can see the spot that I have on my chin here you can still see that coming through I would definitely want to cover that with concealer that's fine and you can see just my natural discoloration as well very slightly coming through but the foundation as a medium coverage 
definitely does sort of even out my skin tone and give you know a nice much more even coverage than I would have without foundation and then lastly color wise Rimmel offers five shades on the Australian market and I'm using the shade true ivory and that is the second lightest shade of the range it does err on the side of pink for me slightly too pink for me but uh, definitely still wearable it wouldn't stop me from wearing it throughout the day the five shades you know that's so limiting the fact that I as a sort of NC 25 to 30 am um, the second lightest shade means that there are a lot of people who are fair to light who are not going to be able to find a decent match in this foundation so that's another thing to consider before you go out and buy this foundation which is about $20 on the Australian market okay so it's about 20 minutes on now and I have actually powdered the foundation down it didn't really change all that much in that 20 minute period but you can see now that with a slight amount of powder which I pressed in with a powder puff and then sprayed down with a makeup finishing spritz from Australis that the finish is not it's not really dewy and glowy at this point it's quite um, sort of satin finish I think my pores and fine lines are looking a little less obvious with this foundation and with the powder technique on top I'll keep an eye on this throughout the day and uh, let you know at the end of the day how it's looking and how I found the wear throughout the day so this is how the Rimmel wake me up foundation looks about it's about eight hours after I first applied it I have done one touch up probably about an hour or two ago and you can see that it does have more of a glow to it than it did actually this morning. So I kind of feel like it actually gets better throughout the day. Now Rimmel does say that it is a medium to full buildable coverage. I found that it can get a little bit cakey if you do try to build it. I would say that it's similar to NARS Sheer Glow if you are looking for a less expensive sort of version of that. I think this would be a good product for you if you can find a color match. Again I'm not sure if it is a different product to what is available in the UK or in the USA. I did not see any glitter particles or any sparkles at all in this product even when powdered down you do sort of get eventually just a nice dew I feel like on other days just with different primers underneath and different powders on top I feel like I can get more of a shine but I really like the shine of it actually I don't feel like it's a real oil slick I feel like it is just a really nice sometimes definitely obvious dew like you would really notice it if you met me you would think wow she really has a dewy face today but not an oil slick that's definitely something to differentiate itself from other foundations which can just be oil slicky for me halfway through or at the end of the day so I do really like this foundation for those who do like more of a sort of sheeny dewy coverage again my skin is combination to oily so it still gets a thumbs up for me and it does have a relatively long wearing it would last you throughout a work day I think if I was going any longer than a regular work day if I was going out for the evening I would opt initially for or another foundation like maybe the MAC Pro Longwear or the Matchmaster Foundation, the Revlon Colorstay, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, all favorites for long wear for me. But this is one that would last you really nicely for the workday, really nice finish. Again, the hook being if you can find a shade. The True Ivory for me is, it, it's a little bit unusual for me. Looking, you know, in the outdoors, looking in the mirror, it definitely looked too pink for me. You can see it even around my neck, it was sort of too pink for me. Uh, but then under other lights it almost looks sort of too chalky, too pale. So I'm not really sure about the shade range. Being only five, it's really limiting from Rimmel. 1995, it's sort of, you know, in the medium range there for drugstore type foundations. I would definitely recommend giving it a go if you, you know, like what I've said already about a medium coverage sort of dewy foundation that doesn't go too berserk on the dewy side of things so I think Rimmel did a really good job again it does say it's an anti-fatigue effect and radiant glow and it does have SPF 15 so fantastic for the daytime obviously always up that SPF if you can if you have an SPF 30 moisturizer or primer that you can pop on underneath that so I hope that this review has helped definitely do let me know if you have any other questions down below and I'll see what I can do to help you thank you so much for watching thank you again Christina 15 TV for suggesting that I give this foundation a go I've really enjoyed what I've seen so far and have a beautiful day bye guys